So I've just recently set up a coffee account. If you enjoy the content that I make, I appreciate any one-time payments that you give for the channel. Thank you. Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to set up RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 4 and specifically we're going to be looking at Amiga emulation on the RetroPie. So this is the RetroPie website, but actually I'm not going to take you there. I'm going to take you to the Raspberry Pi OS website because uh, there is a nice installer that you can download for Windows, Mac or Ubuntu. And once you've downloaded that, load it up, go to choose OS and then go down to emulation game OS. And then we're looking for RetroPie and then we look for Raspberry Pi 4, the one at the bottom as of the time of this video. Uh, we, you could possibly try it on a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, but I'd recommend doing it on a Raspberry Pi 4 or 400 if you've got one. So you just click on that um, and then storage, you then choose your SD card. I've already burnt mine, so, um, and then literally click write and it writes to the SD card. Obviously it goes without saying it wipes the SD card. So make sure you back up your SD card before doing this. So let's move over to RetroPie. So I've got the Raspberry Pi booted up now. And as you can see, we're uh, on RetroPie. Uh, I've gone through the basic setup of uh, I've plugged in an Xbox 360 controller and when you do that it asks you to set up the directions so up left down right and all the buttons on the controller so I've gone through that already um, and now what we need to do is install the Amiga emulator now it uses Amiberry but by default it isn't installed so uh, what we need to do is first off we need to make sure that we're on the internet so um, if you've plugged it in with the ethernet cable then you should just be all set up and fine uh, if you haven't got ethernet then you're relying on wi-fi so you just go down to the bottom of this menu in the retro pi uh, setup and uh, select wi-fi and then choose your wi-fi so uh, what we need to do after that is go to RetroPie Setup and then we get this menu come up. So uh, what we can do is then go to Manage Packages, uh, go to Optional Packages and then if we go down to number four we can see Amiberry. So if we choose that and you've got a couple of options you can build from source or pre-compiled binaries i recommend pre-compiled binaries they're much faster than having to build it from source so i uh, would choose pre-compiled binary are you sure you want to install it yes i am and then we'll see a load of text fly by and then eventually there we go it's installed so uh, if i go back uh oh I want to go back, there we go, and then as you can see Amiberry installed via binary is there. So the emulator itself is there, but we've got a bit of configuration that we need to do now and we need to move back over to our Windows machine. Okay, so back on our Windows machine, uh, what we need to do is we need to connect to our RetroPie machine. Now, what you can do is you can just go to start and then type in backslash backslash RetroPie. Um, if that doesn't work, then you'll need to find out the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Um, and you can do that in the menus on the actual RetroPie itself. But nine times out of 10, really, you should be able to connect to it by just using the name RetroPie. So uh, it doesn't ask for any username or password and you see four folders here. So you've got BIOS, configs and ROMs. First off, we're going to go into ROMs and as you can see, there's loads and loads of folders in here for different systems that you can emulate. And as you can see, we've got Amiga at the top that's been created. That wasn't there before the emulator was installed. So um, that's, that's all set up. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy over some games that I've got here. Now these are WHD Load games and they're from the Retro Play collection. Uh, so they're in LHA format. Um, I've seen some comments in previous videos. People have been trying to run uh, WHD Load games from zip files. Um, I've seen zip versions a long, long time ago. Um, but really, I don't know where people are getting those zip files from. But really, all the modern packs and everything of WHD Load games that I can find on the internet anyway end in LHA. So those are the ones that you'll be wanting to look out for. So I've got a mixture of games here and I'll just go copy those. I don't need to extract them at all or anything. I just need to just simply copy them over. So there we go. That's copied into the ROMs Amiga folder. So if we jump back to RetroPie and then under BIOS, we've got to set up our Amiga BIOSes. So in here, I've already done it. Um, I've moved over uh, some ROMs. Now, obviously, I can't tell you where to get your ROMs off of the internet, but um, if you've bought the Amiga Forever pack, then you can go to uh, C users, public documents, Amiga files, shared ROM folder, and you need to pick out uh, Amiga OS 130, uh, which is a A500, uh, the 204, which is a 500 plus, and then an A1200 as well. So um, I've also added in an A600 as well. So I've got four types of Amigas that I can emulate, and that will cover pretty much all the games. So um, you don't have to rename them to anything fancy at all. You just need to put them into the root of the BIOS. Don't, don't make any separate folders or anything. Just put them into the root of the BIOS. And there we go there, we've got our four ROMs. So what we're gonna do now, that, that's pretty much it on the Windows side. We've, we've copied over our games. Obviously you could copy more games uh, if you wish. Um, and now what we're going to do is go jump back over to the Pi. So as you can see, we're back on our retro Pi again. And at the moment, there's no menu for Amiga. What we need to do is uh, press the start button to bring up the main menu, go all the way down to the bottom, quit. We don't have to do a full restart, but we just need to restart emulation station. So it's the top option. Yes, I really want to restart. Only takes a couple of seconds, and there we go, we've got Amiga. So, um, we can go left and right, so we can go back to RetroPie to do settings again. But if I go into Amiga, as you can see, we've got nine available games. If I click on that, there we go. There's all our games that I transferred over. Now, one thing I have noticed which, with this, which is a, a bit sad, is that uh, the scraping doesn't work. Now what scraping is, is it, it means that it gives it sort of a much prettier name and it also gives you info about the game. Um, on a lot of the console systems like Sega Mega Drive, Nintendo and everything, uh, the scraper seems to work really well. So you can get to the scraper by the main menu and then scraping. Um, and click and scrape now. But what you'll find sadly with the Amiga is that it just doesn't detect the games. Um, so uh, if you know any other ways around this, please let me know down in the comments. Um, because it'll be really good if, if we could get that working. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, we've got, um, we've got our game. So all I need to do is press A to start a game. And uh, you'll see that, yep, it starts loading it up. There we go. Yep, yeah, we've got a full screen, so uh, it's and there. We go. We're straight into the game. So the controller is all set up, ready for me. Um, and yeah, this is the game. Performance is pretty good. Um, there might be a slight little lag um, in using it with the controller, but um, really, that's kind of all part of emulation. Really, there is going to be a small, small amount of lag as opposed to real hardware. 
But uh, to get out of this, I just hold down uh, the Xbox button and start, and that jumps back out. And then there we go, I'm back on my menu, I can jump in and play Lotus if I want. And this does sort of scale the game so that it uses up the full screen. Because I know with Lotus, uh, because they're saying it's an NTSC game, uh, you'll see that it's kind of, um, it zoomed in a little bit so that it actually gives you the full screen. So for anybody that has got a RetroPie set up already, this is a great addition to sort of like putting Amiga games on there. If you haven't got a real Amiga and you really just want a dedicated machine to run some Amiga games, then this Raspberry Pi uh, Retro Pi um, system is very adequate. It, it does a lot of the other tips or recommendations. Uh, please put them down below in, in the comments. Please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.